All right, um, Aries, this is your love reading for the month of uh, November. In your house, we see unsent messages. So Aries, whatever is going on in your house, there's unseen, um, unsent messages that is going on. It has to do with uh, um, a sacred union. Um, it has to do with um, a Virgo, a Leo, and a Taurus. A Virgo, a Leo, and a Taurus. So, what is going on for you guys? So, in this month, there is a lot that is going on. We have the, the unsent messages that a lot of you Aries have created some sort of a message but haven't sent it. For whatever the reason is, you have not sent it. And uh, I see that uh, um, you're having inspiration with someone else. So you could be collaborating um, with a partner, a new partner in love. I see some sort of a renewal of hope. You want to return to someone. I see transition changes is coming up when it comes up to you and um, a cancer person. A whole lot of changes is going to be coming up. Um, then we see... Um, in the house of pleasure, we see you thought that, uh, um, if you go single, um, that is going to be better for you, Aries. So be careful. A lot of you Aries who are married and in some sort of a sacred union, you got to be careful because some of you think that if you go someplace else, it's going to be better, but you can, um, make the decision as you see the extended of this reading. Then we see energies, um, watch your back. Whatever is going on, watch your back with a Libran. Whether this Libran is and whatever is going on, watch your back with a Libran, Aries, okay? They are your opposite sign and uh, you can have a relationship with them, but there is uh, a Libran could become your greatest enemy. So watch your back, okay? Then we see between the lines, look for what is hidden. Okay, a lot of you in relationships, there is something that is hidden. Look between the lines. Something is not, not everything has been said. So be aware of that, okay? Then we see block, block obstruction, okay? Block obstacles, okay? There could be some sort of a block obstacles between you and someone, Okay, new experience, new things is on the horizon. So some of you could be traveling, going on vacation, and you could be meeting someone. Some of you are thinking of uh, going on vacation where you could be meeting someone. All right, storm, turmoil coming in ahead. So Aries, you and uh, an Aquarius is going to be having some sort of a turmoil that is going to be coming up. So be aware of this. Whatever is going on between you and this uh, person, there is going to be some sort of a turmoil that is coming up, okay? You Between you and a an Aries person or a, um, an Aquarian person, um, this is where the storm, you're having issues with air sign people. All right, then when we look at uh, the 12th house, we see spiritual awakening. So some of you, Aries, have been working on yourself. You have been working on yourself. You have been working on relationships that you are in. Whatever is going on, it is that this month of November, um, you are send, you're typing up messages, but you're not sending them, okay? You can be just uh, releasing your heart and your mind from what you have been thinking, but you're not sending out these messages because maybe it's not your time for you to send it out, okay? You're just um, jotting down what is going through your mind, how you're feeling at this moment. And so that is definitely going to be coming up for you. So there is a lot that is going to be happening for a lot of you, Aries, when it comes on to love. Um, this month of love is showing up of um, sacred union that... Uh, um, you could be having with uh, someone, uh, you could be in a marriage and this marriage is sacred union, or you could be living with someone and this is a sacred union. But uh, an alarm is here 
if you are in a connection with uh, Aquarius uh, there is going to be uh, um, turmoil between you and an Aquarius whatever is happening there could be an argument that break out between you and an Aquarius so be aware the other person that you need to be aware of is a Libran okay a Libran um, there, there are energies that is coming up. Uh, a Libran could become your greatest enemy. So Aries, if you're in a relationship with this person or you had something with this person or you were seeing this person, you got to be aware, okay? Some of you who are having affairs, um, read between the lines, okay? You Aries who are having an affair, you got to read between the lines. There's something that is not been said, there is something that you are not aware of. So read between the lines because not everything is as you think it is. Okay. So this um this month of November, Aries, when it comes on to love, I see a lot of you will be um feeling the comfort within yourself and another person especially if you're just living with this person, you're going to be recognizing that you're really, truly connected to this person, okay? But you got to look out for certain people that you're in relationships with, and you have to recognize what is the meaning, okay, um, of this connection. So let's look at the fire sign people. Um, a lot of you are going to be leaving a relationship and going in, in search or choosing to be with a Leo, okay? Because you, you think that maybe being with a Leo, um, it's going to be better. So a lot of you Aries might be considering going towards being in a relationship with a Leo because you feel as if um, that is a better possibility than where you are, okay? So that's why maybe you could be sending this Leo messages um, to say, you know, you know, is it possible do you have the same do you feel the same um you could be saying to this leo um you know i feel as if um this is the right thing for us to do okay with a sagittarian i see a sagittarian is a blocking there's a lot of obstacles there's a lot of things that is uh, happening between you and a sagittarian whatever is going on the situation between you and a sagittarian there could be a lot of obstacles that is uh, happening, okay? So, um, it depends on who you are and what is the problem um, that is transpiring between you and the Sagittarian. But I see a lot of you Aries and a Sagittarian could be having to deal with some sort of obstacles. So... That is definitely going to be coming out in this month of November, okay? When we look at the herd sign, you and a Taurus, you Aries and a Taurus is going to be sinking in sync, okay? And that is going to be very, very possible. Um, For some of you in a Virgo, you could feel as if whoever you're living with at this moment or... um whether it's a Virgo or not a Virgo, you feel as if, uh, um, it feels as if it's a sacred union, okay? Um, a lot of you are going to be planning on going on vacation in the month of December, November, and November, December, and you could be meeting someone, okay? Then when we look at the air sign people, as we look at the situation between you and a Gemini, I see that there could be new a new start between you and a Gemini, I see some sort of a renewal of love between you and a Gemini, okay? As we look at the Librans, you have to be careful. A Libran is your enemy, okay? So it is a love-hate relationship that some of you and a Libran is going to be having, okay? So you got to be aware. Our, in November, you're going to be finding out that the Libran that you are seeing has become your greatest enemy, especially if you break, break up with these people. They don't like that, okay? Then we see storm, and whatever is going on, there are turmoils that is going to be coming up ahead between you and an Aquarian. So, a Libran and an Aquarian, and these are your opposite sign, and it's kind of weird, but whatever is going on, um, you have to be careful of a Libran and an Aquarian. 
because there's going to be um, a whole lot of turmoils coming up between you and these people. When we look at uh, um, the water signs, we look at the cancer changes is going to be coming up between you and a cancer. It doesn't look good. It is so it's a stormy, but this is like hurricane. This is like tornado. Um, huge argument, squirrel. It's going to be blowing up. Horrible. Okay. It's worse than the turmoil of the storm. This changes and transition that is coming in. Someone is going to be moving out or um, asking for divorce. Okay. Um, look between the lines, especially if you're having an affair with someone. Now, this is in the house of the scorpion. So you better look between the lines because something is happening. Something is going on. If you're having an affair with someone, they're not totally being honest to you. And as we look at the last and 12 house, we see um, realization. You're going to be recognizing that you and a Pisces uh, um, could be connected in a higher a level than you had thought okay so you're going to be recognizing that the connection between you and a Pisces um, feels very good okay and for somehow Aries always uh, go with Pisces because um, they have uh, like the Pisces uh, the Aries end of March or big they always uh, uh, connect or, or the Aries in March always connect with Pisces people okay but this is a karmatic relationship but um you are you have yielded it and this is why it is coming out as spiritual so you're realizing something that this was karma that you have now clear with this person so we're going to be moving forward to the extended if you want to see the extended you have to be a subscriber of the channel my channel has uh, been a long time subscriber um so uh you can uh, find the extended under the medium um by the subscription namaste